this video, um, what we've done is we have the 3120 transmitter, the dual transmitter, and we have two sensors hooked up to it. So we have one oxygen, uh, the SEC 3000 oxygen sensor, and then the uh, methane sensor. And so when we first powered it up, uh, what comes up as the sensors are, are mismatched. Uh, it's typically a default setting in the 3120 transmitter. And in order to clear that fault, uh, what you'll do is that the transmitter set up for unique, I'm sorry, identical sensors, and you want to set it up for unique. So what you'll do is you just go to enter, arrow down to main menu, arrow down to network, and um, in arrow down once you get to the Modbus settings, select enter, and you'll see that the second one down is sensors, and it says ident, which stands for identical. Since the oxygen sensor and the methane sensors aren't identical, um, that's why the transmitter is in a fault condition. So in order to change that, you just select enter, and then you want to make the sensors unique. Since they're different or unique, uh, we just select that, select enter, and then arrow down and get out of the previous menus, and we want to save our changes. So continue to exit out, and we'll see that the uh, fault is cleared. Um, but now we have an alarm condition. Uh, what's unique about the oxygen sensor is that um, it trips on, on lowering levels as opposed to like a methane sensor once the gas uh, increases, increases the alarm level, that's when the actual alarms would be triggered. But in oxygen, we're sensing for uh, low oxygen concentrations. So uh, with the oxygen sensor, you typically have to go in and, and set your alarm levels. And so we'll show you how to do that as well here in the same video, since it is kind of uh, interchanged here. So we'll just select Enter, and we'll go down to Main Menu, we'll go down to Alarm, and since the oxygen sensor is on ID number one, we'll save that as one, and we'll go into Low Alarm, and you can see the default is set for uh, five. So um, Typically, uh, what we set the low alarm for oxygen sensors is 16.5. So we just select enter and then use the up arrow to get our alarm set points correctly set. Oops, I went too far. So then we want to get, again, 16.5% by volume for our low alarm. And what's unique about the oxygen sensor is that it is also um, really has two of the low alarm set points. So we'll go in after we get the low set correctly. There we go. And it's set for active low, which is correct. And then Go to Previous Menu, Save, and we'll go to Mid-Alarm. And that we want to uh, set for 19.5% by volume. Normal oxygen in ambient air is 20.9, so uh, things that might decrease oxygen would be nitrogen or CO2. So it's usually oxygen sensors are used in confined spaces to alert personnel when the oxygen levels are getting too low. Oops. So we'll set that for 19.5. Again, active low, previous menu, save changes. Now we'll go to high and the high threshold uh, is a true high alarm. So in case of oxygen enriched areas, um, it can become explosive. So we'll set the high alarm for 25% by volume. 
which is typically the full scale range of the oxygen sensor. So set for 25, that's active high, previous menu, select enter, save changes. And with any luck, we should be in a non-alarm condition and um, everything's good.